capable of doing this, but welcome to a new series on the channel. Um, sorry, I'm still adjusting my mic here. Um, simply named Hardcore Survival. I'm going to be playing Hardcore for as long as I can. Um, if I die, I die. If I don't, I, di I don't die. Boom. That's how, I, that's how we do this. Wait, could I? Please don't be a bad start. Please don't be a bad seed. I'd, I'd prefer you don't be a bad seed, please. Please don't. Let everything load in. Alright. Are we on an island? It seems like we might be on an island. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, like... Being on an island, being on an island isn't all that bad. Um, I'm definitely gonna avoid an ocean because oceans. Tri Trident boys hurt. They do like what? Nine hearts of damage. Like, t if you're in hardcore, I'm pretty sure it's like four and a half to like five and a half hearts of damage. So in hardcore. Not really hardcore, but just hard in general. And because it's hardcore, I only get one life, so. Sheep! You must sacrifice yourself for the good of the series. But first, I require stone tools. Oh, I feel so good collecting wood again, man. Another right before was just like trained me not to collect wood at this point. And I'm gonna be honest. Another right before what I actually do enjoy doing it. There's some stone over that I'm gonna go make my way over to. But um, yeah, another right before what I actually really enjoy doing it. But at the same time, I don't because it it's starting to hardwire my brain to not collect wood. At the same time, I have to collect wood in other series because wood is a fundamental part of Minecraft. Um, day one. Yeah, day one. I guess, just, you know, collect stone tools, basically starting starting out in regular Minecraft. Regular Minecraft, I mean, like, um, I don't know how long this series will go. It might go for a while, it might not go for very long. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest to keep the series going. Yeah, it's, it, it's definitely gonna be a bit of a doozy to keep a series like this going, because... Um, it might go on for multiple years, even, and I just, you know, not know it. One. All right. Um. By the way, if you're wondering how I do this here, we're just like that right there. Um. Go to the hop bar, you whatever keys you have set as the hop bar, and then just like press one, two, three, four, or five, and you know, corresponds. So, fun facts with Francois. Yeah, with this headset, um, new headset that I have, I, I'm able to, like, make, um, have the volume for, like, other stuff, like, larger. The hazy. Oh, there, there's a shipwreck here. That's, I mean, like, that's pretty good luck. Come hither. You must sacrifice yourself for the good of the series. I'm sorry. You will be remembered. Everybody everybody must remember the first couple of animals that I slaughtered. Anyway, let's see if we can't get our way down here. It's very dangerous to be exploring something like this, but especially in early hardcore, because you never know what you're going to find. At the same time, it can be really helpful as a sort of kickoff point to your hardcoreness I'm gonna be honest I really like to look at dark oak I really do like dark oak is like one of those things that you don't expect it to look nice but it really does and it messes with your perception of the game I'm not entirely sure why my bubbles are just like not going down but I assume that's good um, I'm really weirded out as to what's happening with the bubbles. 
Does the hammer have something come out? R oh my fu- Okay. 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 <laughs> that is so good! For your treasure map, I'll take the map too. I'll also take the paper. Or, you know, we can get diamonds on the first day. Oh, you know, yeah, di diamonds on the first day. That that seems very overpowered. All right, day two of my hardcore adventure. Pig, just piggies. Come here, piggy. You piece of shit! Stop panicking. Let it happen. Everybody will remember the first group of animals. I'm not entirely sure how far away I am from this thing. It's a very large place. Good for a village to spawn, maybe. What about here? Somewhere around here. Oh, called it. Oh, well. There's four diamonds. Heart of the seas. More food. We have four diamonds now. Could make a sword. Could make a. Could make a sword. Could make some booties. Could make anything, really. Four diamonds. But I'd, I'd rather save two of them for an enchantment table. I mean, like, I do like this helmet, though. This helmet is nice. It's a very good find. Yeah, I'd rather save two of the diamonds for an enchantment table. And then two for maybe a sword. Instead of just making a pickaxe outright. Because as much as... Because... Uh, as much as a diamond pickaxe would be nice, I'd... Rather just, like... Use, um... I'd, I'd rather just like use two of them for a minute the table. Save me a little bit of time. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, hi. Hi, friend. Yeah, it gave me a, a wow, a really high durability iron shovel. That's really nice, actually. Whoa, that's a creeper. That's another creeper. Okay, so we're doing pretty good on everything, really. Give me some iron armor. Graduate my stuff from stone to iron, and then whatever's left I can use to make some some iron booties. All right, we're moving up in the world. I always ask myself, why do I make a diamond? Not diamond. Um, why do I make a sword? Axes do more damage, and axes are better for like damage and not in just in general. Well, um, in PvP, axes are obviously superior, but with, with swords, swords are better for PvE combat because you can attack them in rapid su succession really quickly because mobs can't carry shields. At least I don't think they can. That is so odd. Like that. <laughs> Let's see what's in it. I honestly wasn't expecting to find something that fast. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a village right over there. <laughs> That's great. Alright, let's see what's in here first. A 
lot of bones. A lot of bad stuff. A gold apple. Look at that. Um, I guess I can put that in there. Take, I'll, I'll take the gunpowder. So we now have 22 gunpowder. Um, we could put the white wool away as well. And the sand, really. Alright. And because... I'm, I'm more than likely going to end up using this TNT here. Alright, that's all of it. More than likely gonna end up using that TNT for blast mining. Oh my! What is happening, bruh? Why is there just a random thing buried here? I just like go into the desert and all of a sudden I find three structures out of fucking nowhere. There's a vanishing, mending, silk touch, some golden carrots, which are nice. I don't, I don't like the ones that are buried, because the ones that are buried, they're really difficult to do anything with. Now, let's see what this village has to offer. Is there anything else besides, well, hay? I use this place to get a lot of really easy emeralds, but I might do that, actually. It's easy to get a lot of really easy emeralds, basically. Holy hole. There's a hole there. Oh, there's another one here. Yes, he sells wheat. Oi, you, come here. Come hither. I still have more wheat for you. Cool. You piece of shit. Stole my wheat. Villagers. Gotta love them. Running all sorts of good prices, man. Sir? You were nice. So, actually, I will leave that here for you. Alright, I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, hello. Right next, that's right next to a desert temple. Which means if that's happening, that means there's gotta be a goddamn room portal nearby. also gonna snag. Alright, so I suppose we should start looking around for a place to settle. Hmm. I can settle right on this mountain here. And what I'll do is, yeah, I'll settle right here. Now I just need... at least two chests. I get a big chest though. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the first episode of the new series. Um, with Nether right before Wood coming to an end, because, well, it's not coming to an end, but it's getting close to coming to an end. Um, I figured that, you know, I needed another series to do, and well, doing this series will be a good ongoing thing. So, I guess I'll keep the series alive until I die. If I do die, then, well, you, will, you guys will see it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!